Grab a cup of tea and get cozy. It's time to play Stardew Valley. Hello friends. If you happen to be binge watching this series, you may notice things look a little different around here. <laughs> There was quite a time jump between episodes three and four, during which I moved to Atlanta, got a new set, and this amazing strawberry shirt. But don't worry, we're still gonna have the same cozy fun time in Stardew Valley, and I am so excited to get back to Strawberry Farms and finish spring of year one. So let's get into the game. All right, we are back at Strawberry Farms. Let's see, I, I guess it doesn't matter what the weather is tomorrow because it's the flower dance. But I can't help myself, I gotta check. Oh, it's gonna be clear and sunny, perfect for the flower dance, okay. <laughs> so the flower dance, oh, there's no recipe today. Flower dance starts really early, if I recall. I think it said like nine to two. Um, so there's really not much time to get the watering in tomorrow. That's the whole day. Oh, thanks, Dad. Well, actually, thanks, Grandpa. Well, leaving me a farm wasn't enough. Grandpa also had to leave me $500. Well, thanks. <laughs> oh, my God. Can I find a partner? I don't think I can because I haven't been able to romance anyone, but that is not going to stop me from trying. <laughs> I want to see if I can dance with somebody at the, at the flower dance. Particularly one of the ladies. I've been starting to think that maybe I want Leah to be added to my list of bachelorettes. I mean, she's an artist. I can relate to that. I'm also an artist. That sounds really fun. Ooh, what's that? Pine tar. Plus, I can romance her with salads, which I also can relate. Salads are one of my favorite foods. So I think I'm gonna add Leah to my list of possible uh, romanceable ladies in Stardew Valley. So I've been thinking, as you can see, it's a really long walk from my strawberry patch to the watering spot. Now I could buy a well, but I'm gonna be real, I'm really broke and I want farm animals. So <laughs> I think instead I'm gonna turn the area for summer, I think I'm gonna turn the area where I am standing right now and watering strawberries into a little outdoor like chest and machine and crafting area. And then I'm gonna build the a little like garden area in front of my house. So I think that's probably going to be a project I'm going to work on in this episode so that I don't have a horribly chaotic first day of summer, which will probably happen anyway. That's just kind of the nature of the first day of, of summer in Stardew Valley. I feel like fall is even worse. See, look, here I am. Look at that. Look how long it is. Using all that energy. Wait, do you even use energy running? I don't think you do. Never mind. <laughs> okay, we have watered the strawberries. Hey, we got two parsnips. And now, just gonna keep watering. I've said it before, but I think it's worth repeating. Stardew Valley is at least half of it is just watering. That's the game. You're just watering things. You know what? I enjoy it relaxing. Okay, I think I'm going to sell these parsnips because like I said, I need the money and I think I'm going to sell this pine tar too. Um, I don't really, wait, <gasps> wait, hold on. Oh no. Okay, wait, do I need this pine tar? I don't think so. I think I need maple. Okay, so because I want to make preserve. Okay, that, the preserves Oh, the preserves just needs coal. That's not ideal. Um, mayonnaise machine, don't need that yet. What am I thinking? Oh, it's the bee house needs maple syrup. Okay, cool. I'm a ways away from making bee houses anyway. 
So I can sell this pine tar money. Yes. Great. Okay. See, I have some snacks. I'm going to grab a few extra leeks for the road. And now I'm going to head up to Robin's house to see if I can buy a pathway from her. And she's not, oh, it's Tuesday. She's at her aerobics class. Okay. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna spend most of today fishing actually. So this is actually, hey Linus. This is actually a great fishing spot up here. I like to stand right there and let's get some, do some fishing. I really want to see if I can make enough to upgrade my fishing line soon because that is critical so that I'm not st sitting around waiting for fish forever. Like this. There we go. Ooh. Okay, I got a few fish. I think I'm gonna actually just try and run down to Willie's shop right now, hopefully before he closes, and see if I have made, if I've uh, got enough fish to sell him my fish and have him then sell me a better fishing rod. Let's see. Don't mind me, just being a little raccoon. Trash Panda. Hey, Elliot. Ooh, I can sell these too. Okay, ooh, ah, just barely made it, okay. Yay, okay. I can, oh, I forgot it, I got the price wrong. <laughs> Oh, well, it's 1800 Okay, well, I guess I'll be doing that on Thursday. I am going to see if I can buy some bait from him, though. Because that will make this go a lot faster. Wait, can I not put... Can I not put bait on this one? <laughs> okay, well, I guess I... All right. I'm sure I'll use the bait on Thursday. You know, it really is irritating how all of the shops close so early in Stardew. But as somebody who grew up in a small town, I it's super accurate. <laughs> and it, it was just as annoying in real life. Well, this is fun. I'm fishing with Willie. We're just hanging out and vibing. You, me, Willie. It's fishing time. All right. I'm starting to feel tired, so I'm just going to sit here and munch some raw onions, as one does when you're fishing. I don't know about you, but whenever I'm starting to feel exhausted, I just have four raw onions, and then I'm good to go. Okay, I'm getting tired again, so I'm going to spice it up by eating a leek, which is pretty much the same. Like, leeks are really similar to onions, actually. I don't know why I'm so into eating raw onion and onion-esque things, but it's keeping me going through this long fishing journey. It is getting late, so I think I'm going to head home, but I want to see if I can, ooh, forageables. You know I love a forge. Um, so I wanna see if I need anything from what I have in my inventory for the community center bundles, and I'm gonna stop there on my way home. 
I really like going to the community center at night because it's like really kind of like spooky. It has a very abandoned vibe, you know, because nobody's there. and It's nighttime. I don't know. It's really fun to me. Okay, let's see what we need. None of these are special fish. Night fishing. I need a bream. No breams. Wait, I need a wally. Walleye? Walleye. And an eel. Okay. Ocean. Ooh, I need that. I have that. I have a sardine. Hey. I don't have a tuna. Okay. Lake fish. I don't have any lake fish. Great. Yay. That means I can sell everything else. Wait. A nautilus. I think I need a nautilus shell for one of these. And I got one. Yeah, on the beach today. Okay, wait. Oh, I haven't unlocked that bundle yet. Okay, well, I gotta hang on to the Nautilus shell because I'm sure that I need it for one of the bundles later on. Ah, it's getting late, but I got a forage. I just, I just gotta grab the deft. <laughs> I can't help myself. Okay, I'm running. I am always running back to the house so late in this game because I can't help myself. I gotta stop and forage for things. <laughs> okay. Yay. Okay. I'm gonna sell all of my fish. Sell all of my fish and my oyster. And I think I'm gonna keep everything else. And throw it in this snack. Oh, this is my snack chest? Cool. And then oh, I've got a lot of geodes. Time for another chest. But that is a tomorrow. Actually, wait a minute. Maybe, do I have wood? Okay, I should go to bed. I don't want to get robbed again. <laughs> okay. Yay, I leveled up my fishing. Day 24, it's time for the flower dance. Oh my god, I love the flower dance. Okay, is it going to rain? No. And the Queen of Sauce is a rerun. Wow, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, shoot, shoot. Ugh, so I gotta make some scarecrows. Ugh, okay. Okay, now I need to really hustle to get all of this watered before um, the flower dance. But thankfully, I don't actually have to go at nine. It's okay if I'm like a cool kid who shows up like late, you know, I'm gonna be fashionably late. I'm just, you know, whatever. I just have to get there before two. I'm like, you know, they don't know. It's hard being a farmer. I got a lot to do. I can't just be running off to the dance all the time. Yes, I know I'm late. <laughs> I gotta finish watering my crops. I also got to put water in Peach's bowl. I can't just abandon my dog. There's a cool party in town. Like, no. Okay, well, I don't see Peaches anywhere, but I'm going to put some water in her bowl so that when she comes back later, she has water. I hear her. I don't know where she is, but... Okay, it's flower dance time! So I'm really excited. I have a little money on hand so I can buy a cute piece of decor from Pierre's shop. What do I, oh wow, that is, that is not cheap decor now, is it? <laughs> okay, okay. Can't get the rare crow, too bad. I'd like to collect them all, that sounds fun. Um, I always really like the tub o' flowers and is my favorite and is a little cheaper. So I think that's what I'm gonna get. And now I'm gonna run around and say hi to everybody. Ooh, hello, Emily. Ooh. Okay. Will you dance with me, Emily? Okay, that's fair. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask Elliot because he's one of my favorites. Let's see if what he says. Oh, look how cute this, like, portrait of Leah is. I love this. 
I'm definitely adding Leah to the list. Yes. Ouch. Okay, I'm not gonna hold it against her. I'm just gonna bring her a bunch of salads and see how it goes. Might, maybe, Jody. I don't know. We'll see if anybody will dance with me. Oh, look at Robin's outfit. I love her flower dance look. Oh my god, you're amazing, Bobby. Oh my god, I love Gus. So wholesome. Okay, well, I'm definitely not going to ask Abigail to dance then because I don't want to make her do anything she doesn't want to do. Also, she looks fabulous. Yes, I love them. I also love your fabulous hat. Wait, look at this. Where do I get this? This is a very me like outfit right here. I feel like I would totally wear this. Nice flower crown, Haley. I like it. Okay, let's start the flower dance. Wait, I'm sorry to disrupt the flower dance, but I just noticed this tub of flowers down here. Where do I get that? <laughs> Where can I buy this for my house? I can't find it any. It's not in there. It's cruel. Okay. Okay. Ah, I got my decoration. Okay. Yay. I'm going to put it right there. Oh my God. Look how cute it is. Ah, I love it. Okay. Let's see if I can put this there yeah that's nice oh there we go yay the house is almost it's almost a home okay i'm gonna see if i can use my remaining energy to cut down some more trees because i want to put some chests out in my fishing spots because i got a lot of fishing to do because we need seed capital yes i made that joke Yes, I did. All right. Because it's like to buy seeds. We need seed money. But yes. Okay, I'm cutting it close. I was only able to make one chest. Oh, God. Gotta go all the way around still. <laughs> um, but hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to chop down one more tree and get a second chest. Run! 140! Oh, no. Okay. And I'm in for the night. Whew! Just barely made it. The report. Yay, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. <laughs> Living off the land. Oh, my harvest has come in. Yay, perfect timing. Potatoes. Okay. Only a few left in this bed, but that's good because I'm going to get rid of it in a few days. So. I already had a little bit of wood, just enough that I can make my second chest. Perfect. Yay, strawberries. Now I definitely know I want to hold on to my strawberries because I want to make preserves and wine with them. So I definitely want to wait till I can make that. But I think I should sell the potatoes because I really don't have that much money and there's only a few days left to spring. And, you know, seeds are expensive. They ain't cheap, so they can't get seeds for free. Well, actually you can get seeds for free, <laughs> but they're not very good. The seeds I want are expensive. So I'm gonna put the strawberries in here for later. 
And then I'm gonna grab these potatoes and sell them, sell them on. I've got my garden all filled up, or uh, blah. <laughs> I've got my strawberry patch all watered and I am heading out to Robin's to see again if I can buy a pathway from her. And she's not here again. Okay. Does anyone in this town do their jobs? <laughs> Actually, Gus is always there. Gus is very reliable. I have a chest here and a little whoop, a torch so that I can night fish up here. But I think I'm going to head down to Willie's first and buy myself a new fishing rod. Hello, Abigail. How are you today? Cool. Don't like your dad's cooking. Okay. Wait for Elliot to leave. Yes. Field snack. Why, yes, Willie. I do want to buy this fishing rod and sell you this clam. Thank you, Willie. All right. Oh, I also brought another chest for down here and a torch so that we can fish at night down here too. I think these are two of the best spots because I really like fishing here because you can just go right inside and sell it to Willie. And it's pretty much one of the, uh, it's a good spot to fish at. And then I also really like up by the mines because you get really good fish there. However, I think I am going to go back up to the mines today because I think it's really good to fish down in the ocean. I think in the summertime is when there's like some really expensive fish at night. But right now, I think the best fishing is up by the mines. So I'm going to head back up there. Yay! Got the better fishing rod. I got the bait. We're good to go. And I got newspaper. Okay. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. There we go. <laughs> I just I just really like that I was like, I got this really expensive fishing rod. I got this, I, I bought bait just for, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to catch fish. And what do I get? Trash. I get trash. Ooh, we got sparkles. Let's move over there. Let's see if I can reach that far. Yeah. So whenever you see the little bubbles, that means that it's good fishing. You just get fish like way faster when it's in, when the bubbles are happening. Oh joy. More newspaper. I love that it's actually just called soggy newspaper. Like the pain of that. You can picture it. It's not pleasant. Ooh. We love an achievement. I wonder what that one's for. Is this a rare fish? Okay, this should probably be my last fish. And I will be running home again, as usual. I'm going. I'm going. I know. It's late. I'm running. Okay, 
And before I sell everything, I want to see if I need any of these fish. I need a sunfish, catfish, and a shad. I do not have those. Oh, I need a bullhead and a carp. So I will save both of those in a chest. I'm going to put them in my snack chest because I would never eat raw fish. So I'm not worried that I'll accidentally snack on them. Um, even though I think you can, I'm going to pass on that. I'm going to pass. It's going to be a no from me on the raw fish. Hi, peaches. Oh, I don't want to wake her, but have a good night. All right, let's see how we did. Ooh, I leveled up my farming. <gasps> Cheese press. Okay, so I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on my channel. I probably have. Um, probably everybody who knows me at all knows that I am obsessed with cheese. Uh, it is absolutely my favorite food, bar none. I love cheese so much. <laughs> So I'm very excited to make cheese in the game. I love making cheese in Stardew. I love all of the little like custom, the fancy goat cheese you get to make. And you know why? It's because I love cheese. <laughs> it makes me very happy. I'm ways away from actually making cheese because I don't even have cows yet. But next, hopefully soon, maybe even in the summer. Okay see how our potatoes did. Okay, not bad, not bad. Cool, we're getting there. We're making we're making the money, we're getting there. The good news is I think I'm hoping to get to 25,000 total earnings uh, very soon because once you hit that, you open up the mushroom cave and you can get free snacks, which I love because also I love mushrooms so it's like just it's so fun it's great okay oh good morning peaches hello okay my journal oh mm -hmm. has been updated with it's kind of an odd quest uh, okay yes I've already gotten the chicken coop thank you okay clear and sunny tomorrow ah it's raining joy extra joy in Stardew because not just is it the joy of rain in, in a video game, which I already love, as you know, but it is also the joy of not having to water my crops, which I really love. It's just perfect. Mm. And you can get certain fish that only come out when it rains, so I might want to try and do some fishing today. But I also really need to um, do a few other things. Okay, I'm still trying to buy Path from Robin because I really need to get things set up for my little, uh, for my new garden it's in the front of the house. And I'm trying to buy a recipe from her to, for the right kind of stone pathway that I want. So let's see if she's finally at her job today. <laughs> I think I'll chop down a few trees on my way as well. Oh, look at that. There was a leak hiding behind the tree. Fabulous. Oh, I love when the butterflies come out of the tree. It's so cute. Ah, she's not open yet. Okay. I was like, no, not again. <laughs> no, I'm just really early. Cool. I'll just cut down more trees while I wait. Okay, I'm going to buy the stone stone floor pathway. And I this plant really caught my eye and I know I should be saving for spring for like summer seeds, but it's really nice and I'm buying it. Okay. I see that I have the same problem that I have in real life with spending money I can't afford on houseplants. Okay. <laughs> is just a problem that I have. Okay, so I'm hoping, I think, 
Oh yeah, I totally have just enough to make a few preserves jars, which I'm really excited about because you know I am ready to make my strawberry jam. So let's see if I have, oh, I need stone. Do I have, oh, I spoke too soon. Okay, I guess I'm gonna be going to the mines, but I should probably head down to the ocean right now because it is raining, which means I can get very specific rare fish because it's raining. And also I'm gonna put my little plant, actually I think I'm gonna put my little plant in, oh, hi peaches, hello. No, no, okay, I can't pet her because she's in front of the TV. <laughs> there we go, nope. Oh well, okay, um, I'm gonna put my plant Look how cute it is. My irresponsible purchase was so worth it. I am going to head up to the mines and see if I can get some rocks. Okay, actually scratch that. I am going down to the ocean. I'm going fishing. And I think I'm going to just get the rocks tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have enough time to get all the rocks that I need before summer. So one thing I'm really hoping for with all this fishing actually is um, last time I played, I was able to get really early in the game uh, through fishing in like one of the little chests, I got a really like decent weapon, which made it so much easier to get through the mines. Um, so we'll see. I still haven't, I haven't really gotten very much except geo the usual, which would be like geodes and um, bait. But it's nice. I've gotten a lot of bait, so that's nice. But uh, really hoping to get a, a good weapon would be so helpful. Because the combat, especially in the early beginning of the mines, I swear, it's like the hardest in the game when you have like a really bad weapon. It's really challenging. Well, I guess it's not the hardest. That's probably still getting to 100 in the Skull Cavern, but you know. It's still very challenging. Yay, I got so many eels. I'm so happy. They're really rare. So I don't remember if they sell for a lot. I hope so. But I do remember that they, I need one for a community center bundle. So, hurrah. I feel like I should just call this the fishing episode. Episode four, I fish. That's all I do, I just fish. I guess I went to the flower dance too, but, but mostly I fished. You know, sometimes you just gotta grind. You gotta make the money so that you can get that really cute cottage core house so you can you know woo a cute girl in town to come marry you and live on your farm oh shoot it's midnight okay <laughs> ah, the midnight run begins again hi willie if i'm not mistaken i think evelyn really likes daffodils so I guess it's not useless that I keep stopping for them after all. Which is great, because I'm stopping for another one. Okay, let's check our bundles. Okay, night fishing bundle. Eel. Did I get a bream? I don't think so. Wall I E. Um Ocean Fish Bundle? Tuna, red snapper. Okay, so I think looks like the eel is the only special catch that I need to save today. Um, again, I'm going to put it in my snack chest, even though it is not a snack, because I guarantee you I would never eat a raw eel. Good fishing day. Good night, peaches. Ooh, let's see. Oh, no question. Fish worth 25% more. That's 
that's not even a question. Come on. Woo! I think I might have hit the 25,000. That means I'm going to get my mushrooms. Let's see. Oh, 250 away. No! So close. Okay, well, I'll have to sell some things. And it's going to rain tomorrow. Oh, thank goodness. That's going to make putting in the garden plots a lot easier. So today, even though I do not have... I only have my two to five damage rusty sword from Marlin. I don't have a nicer weapon. I'm going to brave the mines because I need rocks for my garden plot. And I also need them to make strawberry jam because I need them to make preserves jars. So I'm just going to toughen up, make myself some field snacks and head up to the mines after I finish gardening. But of course, not before I put water in Peach's bowl. Okay, I am nervously heading up to the mines to try to mine and get myself some rocks. Um, ooh, snacks. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. Um, my sword does very little damage, so wish me luck, everyone. Okay, so I didn't get quite as much rocks as I was hoping for, but I didn't die, so that's nice. <laughs> um, I've run out of food, unfortunately, so I'm heading back to the house. Okay, I definitely have a food shortage, um, so I think I'm going to sell a few strawberries so that I can be sure because I have a lot actually you know what I'm just going to sell my gold and silver strawberries because I want to make sure it doesn't matter what you put in the preserves jar and I really just want to make sure I first of all unlock my mushroom cave because I really need that energy and I want to be sure uh, that I have enough money to buy summer seeds so I'm going to sell some strawberries Thank you, Strawberry Farms. Okay, so I think I'm going to start taking down my fence here because this is gonna be the area where I'm going to be putting up my new garden tomorrow. I don't have all of the stone that I was hoping for, so I think I'm just going to make you know, sort of the outline of the garden, and then I'll fill it in in the next episode. So it's time for another chest. Um, I'm going to make this one purple. So I have, wait, hold on. I wanted to, I was like, it's the bisexual flag, except it's out of order. Oh, so, okay. It's pink, purple, blue. There we go. Now it's the bisexual flag. <sighs> okay, head into bed. There we go. Those strawberries really came through for us. That's such great news. So that means we are definitely going to have all the money we need for our summer seeds in the next episode. And we're going to get the mushroom cave. Oh, thank goodness I won't be starving anymore. <laughs> Plus, mushrooms which is just awesome because i love mushrooms so that's just great good morning to you too peaches okay the last day of summer spring <laughs> it's the last day of spring queen of sauce oh my god i saw somebody on instagram and they're like also on tiktok who's like making all of the recipes from the queen of sauce in real life it's so fun. I love them. Hello, Demetrius. Yes, this is good news for me. Mushrooms. <laughs> Mushrooms. Duh. Thank you. Thank you, Demetrius. 
Hey, potatoes. Woo. Okay. Oh, this is so sad. My strawberries will be gone tomorrow. Goodbye, friends. I will see you next spring. And also on my shirt. Okay, I'm going to get this pine tar. And then actually, I'm going to cut down this tree because um, I have a plan for after I put my new garden in, I'm going to put a planned out batch of trees behind my crafting area that will have tappers on them. So I will always be able to check on them. I think it's going to be really nice. Ooh, DIY. I do love to DIY. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so these are the plots. I'm going to do uh, more of these, obviously. But the idea is, let me put a, so I'm going to have a torch here so I can see it at night. And then a sign. And then it's going to fill out like that. So, oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> and then this will show what's in the plot. And then this is going to be the plot. And that's the idea. I think it's going to look really cute. Yay! Okay, but I don't think I have anywhere close to enough stone. So I'm just going to count it out and put a corner on it. So I'll know where it is. Okay, one, two, like that. And Okay, well, it's not ideal, but I can fill it in, in the next episode. Or maybe I'll get enough uh, more stone to day but I'd really like to make some preserves jars so we'll see I'll probably make those instead because I want to start getting that strawberry jam money yes okay one two three four five okay and then this area is actually just going to be a really long one to put the like Hops, grapes, you know, other, the trellised stuff, like string beans, stuff like that will be in this one. Oh, and I'm going to put a little sign there, of course, as well. Actually, maybe we should go like this. Yeah, so that it, like, matches. That would be cute. And, oh, and a scarecrow. Oh, I'll just get this one. Alas, these strawberries will be gone tomorrow, and they won't need it anymore. Let's see. And then... What do I need to make it a scarecrow? More wood. Okay, well, I think it's time to chop down some trees and see if we can get some more stone and wood. I think it's time to start clearing out down here. Okay, my first preserve jar! <laughs> Yay! Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I might actually just put a little row of them up here inside the garden area for now. I'm going to try and make a second one today, but I just couldn't resist getting this one started. So... Yay! Strawberry jam! <laughs> I'm so excited! Uh, I love making preserves and wine, but especially preserve jars is like one of my favorite things in the game. And cheese, obviously, because cheese, because I love cheese. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I made a second preserves jar. We're going to have a whole row of them probably uh, pretty soon in the next episode. And I'm going to put a strawberry in it. And I think I even have 
a little extra stone. So I'm gonna see if I can try and at least somewhat fill this in so that it's not looking so sad. <laughs> Maybe everything but this wall or something. I'm gonna try that. Ooh, looks like we need another torch here for uh, night gardening. It's a thing. It'll definitely be a thing on the first day of summer. Yeah, okay. It is, okay, there's just this little bit here. Wait, maybe I can fill it oh, there. <laughs> so at least it's filled up. Okay, so there's our garden. So I'm gonna fill these beds in with fruits and vegetables tomorrow. Well, next episode, but in game tomorrow in the first day of summer. And this is gonna be just so much easier to water. And I think it's such a cute aesthetic. And then these, here, hold on, let me just, we're gonna have a little, well, for now, they're all gonna have strawberries on them because they don't have plants. <laughs> There's nothing planted in them yet. So for now, they're all strawberries because it's, because it's Strawberry Farm, so, you know, there you go. All right, well, I think that's it. <gasps> ah, it's 1 a.m. I gotta get into bed. Night, peaches. All right, everyone, that is it for today. I had so much fun playing Stardew Valley with you again. Um, I did a lot of fishing, but I had a great time and I hope you did too. Next time we'll be starting summer, putting in new crops and finally get some chickens and those mushrooms. Can't wait for the next episode. So I'll see you in summer. Stay cozy, friends. Thanks for watching.